Hello, birthday calling. I cannot wait to see what this year gonna bring. Welcome back to another video with you girl Jana. Today is going to be, you know, one of those series that I tell you guys that I was going to do for the week of my birthday. Since the sun is looking so bright, I was like, and my daughter would not let me do this video. So I was like, what's not the best place to do it? is to go to my room and then you know go in front of the window because you know mother nature lightning oh it's so much better but anyway i don't want to get off topic if this is your first time here welcome how you doing i hope you are doing great and i hope you are enjoying these series as i told you guys i was going to skip some of those some of the days so that's many if you guys um or watching this video this is gonna be the first v uh, the second video of the series because I introduced it already so for this series I told you guys that I was going to do a, a um, sit down video so this sit down video is going to be I can't help you with that uh, not Siri interrupting me okay let's get back so for this series, I told you guys I was going to do a video to tell y'all a couple things that I've learned so far in my 20, in my 20s. Um, and I, I was like, why not do it? Because, you know, um, it's such a great topic. So I don't want to get off topic. So what I've learned for my 20s was the first thing was friendship. So number one, friendship. I learned that the same effort that you may put in your relationship is going to be the same way that you're going to have to put the same pressure, the same um, you no know, thoughts and everything. Because sometimes people think like, hey, I'm just a friend with this person. Well, it requires more than that. Relationship requires time. And it also requires, you know, um, it also requires a lot of things. Especially, the, the, let's talk, let's focus on the timing. Um, if you're not talking to the person, I'm not saying you should talk every day because it, it's not your boat, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you should always keep in contact, stay connected type of thing. And, because, hey... If you don't, you know, come uh, like communicate with your partner, it's gonna come to a point where the fire that you have for your partner is going to die, right? For me, I feel like it's the same thing for friendship. If you guys are not staying connected or not creating time for each other like it should, it won't, you know, it won't be the same effect. Like, I don't care how you say it or how you may think of it. Like, to me, that's how I see it. And another part through that friendship that I've learned is everybody that's calling you friend or that's being nice to you doesn't mean that they are your friend. Okay? I learned this the hardest way. People who was being nice to me, generally nice, who was, you know, um, talking to me here and there. I thought they was my friend until, you know, I would notice certain things. Then it made me realize that they're just being nice to me. They're not being my friend. They're not my friend. And not everybody is. And another thing, too, with the friendship, not everybody is your friend, okay? Like, um, you gotta pay attention to the sign. And if it, and if, if the person don't care for you is doing certain things, you gotta identify the red flag in friendship. Cause the same heartbreak that it brings in relationship is the same heartbreak that it brings in, in friendship. Okay. Um, I've had so many friendships that I've gave my all and at the end, 
it backstabbed me real big. Like, I learned that the hardest way. I could go for days talking about friendship, you know. I can go on and on. And I've realized that um, you really got to pay close attention to who you said is your friend. And you really have to get to know your friends. Just so they show you that they care for you and everything like that. You really don't know what's behind that person's head. You have to make sure that it's genuine. Okay? Alright, number two. I have learned that just because somebody's older than you doesn't mean they are more mature than you and when they not tell you this especially in this in the Haitian community we take that real serious and I'm not understanding why like if I'm a person here who's Haitian seeing this video I need y'all to tell me why do y'all think just because somebody is older than somebody else means that they are more mature cuz I've seen a lot of grown folks acting like teenagers like hello we're not gonna lie about it but that's the truth i would be like why this person acting like that and i be looking so clueless like please grown folks act like like act like a grown folks i'm not saying that you shouldn't have fun but a lot of people that i've seen they act worse than a than than a, a teenager I've been friend with people that's way, way older than me, and I think they are worse than teenagers. Like, I cannot make this up. Please. You know? And we're gonna go straight from that. Something that I've also learned um, is. Um, just because you love everybody or just because you generally care for people doesn't mean that people are going to give you that in return, okay? Just so you care about them, just so you are a person that likes to give, that likes to help, that likes to look out for people doesn't mean that, you know, other people are gonna do the same thing for you. People can get careless about you. They be like, who, who, who are you? Who the thing you want? Who is you? Like, I've seen this so much. People that I've helped have cared for, and they would do some things to me that be so bad. And I'd be like, God, what did I do to this person? To trying to hurt me this bad. Like I be trying to figure out. What did I do for that person. To, hit, to, to hate me or hurt me. Trying to hurt me this bad. And I'm like. All I've been trying to do was co conversing. Was trying to figure out what's wrong. To make it work. And they be just throwing that thing on my face. Like who is you? Like it be. When I tell you. For the experience that I have for my age. Be out of the box. Baby girl. Now son. What is you doing to me? Not the son leaving me. As I'm talking to you guys. Y'all see the disrespect. Even the son being disrespectful to me too. Chat. But it's okay. I got my light in. <laughs> you're not doing. You're not going to do me dirty. Even the son trying to do me dirty too girl but anyway i don't want to make this video too long another thing i learned is please um pay attention to your circles it doesn't matter if it's family doesn't matter if it's friend like whoever it is pay close attention to these people because has you paying close attention to them you would learn so much things about them like I cannot make this thing up. Listen, action. Speak louder than words. Another thing that I've also learned is um, prioritize um, certain things in your life. It could be starting from health and up until like mental health, up until like and. If, you know, I'm not going to force religion, you know, your relationship with God and it goes on, you know, prioritize these because these are going to be the best thing that you could ever do for yourself. Okay. 
I'm, I didn't wrote this down. I'm going from what's coming up in my head. So don't judge this video. Just sit back, realize why, like get some popcorn, okay, and enjoy it. I see it. Let's not think into that. Um, another thing that I've learned is deep. It's really deep. Is just so you have love for everybody. Don't think like people gonna have the same thing in, in, like in return to you. It's so sad. Um, I don't know if you guys seen my testimony from I used to tell God like I'm such a people lover. I'm such a people person. Like I've truly, deeply cared about people, and I'm like God. Like, why do people hurt me so bad? Some, like, not gonna say everybody, but why do some people hurt me so bad? Like, I be telling God, like, did I do something wrong? I be trying to find things that I do wrong, then I realize I didn't do nothing wrong. Sometimes people will have so much hatred against me, and I be, I be sitting down looking so confused. I used to feel bad, especially on my young, younger age when. People who used to not know anything about me and they used to hate my gut. And I used to be like, why does this person hit me this bad without even knowing a single thing about me? Like, I'm a real chill person. Like, the same way that I show you guys on the camera is the same way that I act with anybody else. Except for when it's time for me to get serious. You see this goofy face? Turn to this. When it's time for me to get to business, you know, I get real focused and real serious. But people be like, <sighs> yeah. Um, another thing I've learned is um, as I grow older, I realize that um, ma trying, being more mature, being more serious on life decision is very important. You really gotta um, balance out and look out for the for, for the decision that you make in your life because certain decision that you make, you can't take that back, hun. Once it's once done, it's done. There's no going back from that. Another thing I learned, you know, has age wise is um, you know, is to get to that level that. Don't say that I'm young. I got time to do everything that I need to do to get where I want to be. Baby girl, let me tell you something. The time will go by quick. With a blink of an eye, it would flip so fast. It's going to be like, what? <laughs> I'm what old again? What age? What? You're gonna be looking, you're gonna be you're gonna be sitting down and like and, and trying to be like where did the time go? Like you won't you won't even understand it, you know. Um and another thing too that I've learned is um put more effort on people that put more efforts on you. Don't try to overdo it. For somebody who would who was going to do the bare minimum for you, like it's not worth it, and you're gonna be you're gonna be real mad when the person giving you bare minimum and you giving like a hundred thousand percent. You're gonna be real mad. Do it because in your heart is uh, your heart is pure. Your heart is true. Don't do it just to show off or don't do it just to try to prove somebody or to prove anybody. Do it because this is who you are. Being good to people because that's who you are. You are a good person. Don't be, don't try to be good. Don't try. Definitely don't try to be somebody that you are not. Because the moment that you step out of this box, people are going to see the true person that you are. I've seen so many people, you know, just due to my, you know, the way that I am. I'm a nice person. I'm a chill, laid back and everything. And they will try to be on my same level. And once that mask flip switch, I'll see truly who they are. But they just painting an image because they don't want people. They scared that people might know who they are. Like, don't do it. Don't do it. 
fifth, fourth, fifth, third, second. I, I've done tr lost track of these things. Another thing that I've learned is to, um, hmm, this one is deep, to, um, enjoy life. I know it's important to pay bills and stuff like that. Really set a time to enjoy life. When I say enjoy life, enjoy, enjoy every moment. Because let me tell you, baby, tomorrow is not promise. I used to know so many people that I used to be in my heart dearly. And they're gone now. The only thing that's being left is the memories that I had with them. And some I miss dearly. Especially my aunt who passed away when I was um, very young, like probably like nine, ten years old. She was the best auntie I could ever had. Like when I tell you, oh girl, I used to spoil me. She used to spoil me so much. I used to love her dearly. And when she passed away, it broke my heart because uh, there's no way to describe it. Like. It made me feel like I had a best friend during that time. Ooh, not gonna cry. And the only thing that was being left was the memories that I had with her. And sometimes I used to, when I when she first passed, I used to be like, God, why, why it had to be her out of anybody? Why it had to be her? You know, and only the memories left. Cray has much memories as you can for your daughters. And make sure like you enjoy life. Not though. Just be like on a second hand. Like enjoy it with precautions please. Don't be out here doing crazy stuff and say I'm just enjoying life. Okay. Find peace. True joy. Okay. Uh, don't go out every weekend party and say it's you enjoying life. I'm not saying you're not, but with a certain precaution, please don't say I said that and you screw up and come in here under my comment and say you're the one that I said that. Don't come in here with that attitude, please. You see, this is at this moment, like once I get this cuckoo, this conversation done fine out of the air. But let's get back. I've learned so many things I couldn't go on for days. But I don't want to make this video as long as it is. The most important thing that I've learned is to spend time with myself. Love myself. Um, find joy with the comfort of myself. Self-love is a big thing. And I, Roma, like, like, Roma <laughs> The English, she's not English. <laughs> Romanticize your your space, please. Go on. I, when before I met my husband, I used to tell him I used to go on date by myself. But my single people out here, who's in the Baldy family, go out with you by yourself. Sometimes I do that, like. And if I can't do that, like you ain't got money to step outside, baby girl, let me tell you. Get some popcorn. Okay. Turn on your TV. Put some light. Put your leg up. You know, chill back, relax, enjoy yourself. Because guess what? When everything else goes wrong in life, you going to stick with you. <laughs> Don't want me to repeat that. When everything else go bad in your life, you gonna be the one that stick with you. Don't lose yourself by pleasing people. Don't lose yourself trying to find a point. Don't lose yourself trying to be a people pleaser. Don't lose yourself by trying to be somebody that you're not. Cause let me tell you something. For my 26 years in life, I've seen how this end bad for everybody. Friends that I used to love so much. I had that one friend 
when we stop being friends, let me jump to a quick story time real quick and end. When I stopped being friends with her, I wanted to be angry. Not couldn't be angry. I used to treat that girl like more than a sister. Like she used to say, girl, I'm sick. I can go work or nothing. And I was like, I'm taking the day off. Um, and I remember that time I didn't have a car. I told my mom, can you please come pick me up and I can go get my friend and she could sleep on my bed while I take care of her. My mom used to be like, do what again? And I was like, you heard me, <laughs> mother. <laughs> she probably will remember. I don't want to put nobody's name here. Okay, don't come for me. Don't make me say, I'm not saying no name. But. I I went to her house. I picked her up. I put her inside of my car. And I took care of that girl throughout the whole time she was sick until she got back to herself. I was like, you sure you can go home by yourself? I cooked for her throughout the whole time she was sick. She, that same girl. Whenever she, I used to say, girl, you got money? You ain't got money? I got you. Girl, you want to go out? Let's go out together. Let's go eat. Let's go do something peaceful. Like, I used to, like, I can go on and on. And train me. That's why after we stop being friends, I see friendship so different. There's people that I thought was my friend, and they go to the same city that I am, and they don't even come to my house. You ain't my friend. I have people that I've used to talk to. The moment I start talking to them, I don't hear from them. Like, who is you? But one thing that I'm going to tell to you guys to close this talk is regardless of how people treated you, of how bad people do to you, always stay true to yourself, no matter what. It may not pay off now, but it would definitely pay off later. I know this was all over the place, but I thought I'd share a little bit of me. Now, everything that I had in my head, the moment I started cracking up, acting crazy, I should have wrote them down. I, I screwed up the whole talk. But I really hope you guys learn from it. Please, too. Pay close attention to people. Don't be a people pleaser. Take care of yourself. Take care of your mental health. Take care of your physical health. Pay, like, don't be out here doing what everybody else doing do you okay my camera about to die how could we hope for what is already seen